right, good morning. And I will, I dare to say, what a good day. And that did not come without mixed feelings. Because the fuel scarcity looming around in Nigeria still persists. Information getting to us is that the federal government raised a credit bill to the tune of 156 billion naira to settle part of the debt that is hoeing the oil marketers. But the information reaching us is that the oil marketers came around to say that we have not been paid 156 billion naira, but rather 56 billion naira. Now, how this plays out, it's something that baffles a lot of Nigerians. And on the show today, we'll, be, we'll try as much as possible to do justice to whatever information that is being made available to us and any update that we have on any other story that we have spoken about on the show. My name is Dako Banjo, and I'll be running the show as usual with my co-anchor, Barista Ishoma Againi. Ishoma, how are you? Good, I'm good. Good morning, Andrews, and you're welcome to the show today. All right. Um, this is Monday morning, and it's business as usual. We have a couple of issues to treat on the show, and so we will go on a very high speed and begin to analyze some of these stories as we have listed them out. You are still on with um, Crossfire with Dakbo Anishoma, and we will take our first trending story. And this is very interesting, and it has to, uh, I mean, and it borders around an information that we gathered about Lagos State. Lagos State also come May the 29th, will be transiting into another regime or a republic or another government, as it were, because Mr. Akiumi Amade emerged finally as the newly elected uh, um, governor of Lagos State. And I believe very strongly that information and preparation for the handover is still very much ongoing. Now, our first story this morning is Lagos State ensures infrastructures for uh, 133 billion naira. The Lagos State Government has ensured the Lekki Koi Link Bridge, roads, and other state-owned infrastructure for 133 billion naira against terrorist attack and natural disasters. This was disclosed by the Commissioner for Finance, Ayo Berleyi, while speaking on the financial activities of the state government in the last one year. According to him, Strategic assets such as bridges, drainages, and channels and roads are now specifically insured against natural disaster and terrorist attack, among others. He said this action is for the benefit of the resident of Lagos State and, in, and is under the special risk considered against disaster and terrorism. The premium is 247 million naira for the year, and that insures the assets to about 133 billion naira for the state. I mean, for me, I think um, this is a very good development. Oh, thank God. Um, in every country of the I world. Wait, I was waiting for your opinion. Yeah, no, no, no. In every country of the world, this is what is done. Very and and true. so I, I expect, true. you know, and this translates into, you know, pipeline vandalization. I've always been of the opinion that these uh, pipelines should be insured. Ordinarily, they you know, should be insured. I hope they are. So, this is <laughs> I Nigeria. hope they are Anything insured. can happen. <laughs> They're but come cold. to, yeah. But come to think not. of um, insurance in Nigeria, for me, I see a very stiff competition between the insurance company and the bank. The insurance company have um, emerged really very, um, you know, very largely in, in terms of um, a lot of Nigerians, even government and individuals, having to realize that, you know, insuring their houses, their cars, um, in fact, even we have life also. even life, life insurance, you know, insurance, and all of that. But I, I understand also a, a couple of uh, tweets, a flip side of the story is that when you approach Christians, uh, particularly, yeah, for, to for insurance, that insure you don't know God. what may happen tomorrow. <laughs> so why don't you insure the lives of your and children? You and I will tell you, God forbid, <laughs> it's not going to happen. But the truth is, a lot of Nigerians still up, do not know the benefits of you know having insurance covered. Maybe the education is not enough. Maybe the education. Is yes, not and a lot of people still see you know these insurance companies as you know four one nine in the sense that most times it takes. A really long time, even when an event, you know, a negative event has happened, and where ordinarily you expect your insurance, you know, 
your your insurance company or whatever company you had your insurance with to come and you know help reinstate you back to the state where you, it could take forever. And then that's when you begin to show you some unnecessary clauses, this that, and they begin to. And at the end of the day, you. But you, uh, another it, it thing is like that you just three a lot away. of insurance policies when they come, they have a lot of hidden of facts, course. you know, under that. that means the education. Uh, you know, for me, I think it, it should be well spelled out. Let the uh, let let the person who wants to buy that particular insurance go the extra mile to understanding. Ex I mean, to the letter, Very every true. little infra you know information that you are provided there. You, I bought one that I had to There are lots of Nigerians who feel they know it or they tell you, don't be English. We go understand them. Forget which lawyer. I don't need a lawyer to come and explain this to me. And then they sign, and at the end of the day, blindly, you, you sign blindly. And when you're in trouble, you now begin to look for a lawyer to come and help you solve your mess. No. Now, um, one of the things, um, let's quickly, I mean, go a bit uh, into this particular story. One of the things that actually informed the legal, gov legal state government to, to, to ensuring major assets that belong to the state, like the Lekki Koi Bridge, which is pretty new, and um, some other newly built roads and, uh, and bridges and, you know, channels, uh, I mean, that uh, drainage channels, and, and a lot of other things. Let me tell you. It, it is actually uh, as a result of the insurgency, state of insecurity in that we have in the nation. No, but, but as, and and so that, this is actually a protection against, you know, that, that's why it was mentioned that terrorist attack. Also, including that, know. because, you know, Lagos State is, uh, we're blessed in Nigeria, but of course that doesn't mean that, you know, things, may not occur in future which could you know, result into destruction of public properties. And like in every other part of the world, bridges or public facilities are assets. And of course, you know this is you know, also a revenue generation venture for the state government. So you need to ensure this prep, you know, ensure these assets well, so that if there is any eventuality, then you know to a large extent you'll be covered. And I don't react because we haven't you know, seen the breakdown what kind of insurance policy is it that we can tell, okay, does it also cover road users? If, for example, you were probably plying that Road, route, when, when as something I went happened. something, does it cover you know, people? But then as you know, things unfold, then we'll know I, I the think breakdown it be. of this insurance I think it should be, policy. because if you look at um, what, what obtains in the aviation industry today, yeah. if, if you are just a passenger on a, on a, on a particular aircraft, and there's a hair mishap, maybe, yeah, maybe a crash and all of that, you know, covered. the lives on board are actually covered, covered. by the crash, even though the, the, the aircraft is already covered, but if anybody is actually involved. I mean, definitely, you will never find a, a, an aircraft in, in the space without somebody flying it. Of Even course. if it's the only pilot or the co and the co-pilot mm -hmm. that were present there, their lives are actually insured. And, and I think this should, uh, I mean, cover it, as many it's, lives it's, that it's, may it's, result, you know, from, um, I mean, that may be claimed as a result of any of this, even if it is a natural disaster. Yeah, but course. this time around, I think the watch is against you know, terrorist, terrorist attack, you know, and then natural disasters. And natural it disaster. covers the supreme supply. All right. Um, talking about natural disaster, talking about insecurity in the nation, and that takes us to our next story, and that's talking about the activities of the Boko Haram as against, I mean, the, 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 I mean, the very particular activities of the military against ensuring that by May the 29th, every little thing about, you know, Boko Haram is become a thing of the past. All right. 241, I mean, 214 rescued, um, you know, people, that's women and girls particularly, uh, have been found pregnant. I mean, the people that were abducted or probably, I mean, just uh, stolen. I mean, I, I, I just keep trying to check in my head if I can find, uh, you know, what words to qualify having abducted someone for one year. You are not particularly asking for a ransom and all of that. It's simply, this is a very sad story. When I came across this story over the weekend, it baffles my mind and I begin to imagine if this person, if one of these girls were to be my sister or my niece or my auntie, uh, you know, I, I, just, I just don't want to believe how I will feel, how vengeful that I possibly could become. Report says a sizable number of the girls rescued from Sambisa Forest by the Nigerian army were visibly pregnant. Unofficial report put the latest number of pregnant girls in one of the camps in Borno State as at last Saturday at 214. The issue is, are these the Chibra girls? We don't know. 
I think they're still being profiled. And for me, if I were part of, if, I, if I should be part of the selling, uh, Ishama, this is my take. If I should be part of the military or the people who are, part, I mean, who are engaged in this activity, by the time we start de detecting or verifiably, you know, identifying the Chibo girls amongst the whole lot of people, since there is a lot of stories and a lot of noise about the Chibo girls, I think they should separate, you know, the wheat from the shaft. Let all the Chibo girls supposedly, you know, am amidst or amongst all the people that have been rescued be separated and well profiled. Know their state. Are they all right? Are they not all right? Are they part of the pregnant girls or not? And all of that. Believe you me, one year is a very long time. And if this number of people that have been rescued recently across the Sambisa forest well, were you, actually you living... You never can tell if they were abducted a year ago. Because not until because the only the way you can girls tell have been them, over here. No, but then we do not know if these are the tribal girls. This could have been other individuals who were also kidnapped or abducted, you know, in the course of the raid, you know, during when the villages and communities were raided. Now another issue is when were they captured? Were no, they pregnant before they were captured? Or were they impregnated while you know, under under the watch of the Boko Haram insurgents? Now, information have it, information have it that there's every possibility now. that the bulk of the women, that some of the women, I don't know, but I know that eventually this story will become really very, you know, more light will be thrown on it, and then the details will be really very clear. Some of them have been profiled to be wives of some of the Boko Haram members who were in Sambisa Forest. Okay, and and some of the children, you you need to see. Videos. You need to see captures seen, of seen, the state in which those children are. Do you know yesterday a child, a, 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 a day-year-old child was, was found in Sambisa Forest? That child was, was, was just born. It was just born. I mean, and that is in, in that deplorable state in which Sambisa Forest was met. I mean, it's, it's, so, it's, so, it's so very um, and, and the truth touchy. is, I mean, the governments of Nigeria, they have a lot of work to do because... Whether or not they were the tribal girls, but as long as they're Nigerians and they're human beings who were rescued you know, from this you know, terrible you know, situation, they need to be restored. They need, you know, because their psychology right now, they have, they, they're so affected because of the trauma and the situations which you know, they faced while under the, you know, the, the, the captures of their abductors. So I expect that the government right now, I and mean, we have a whole lot of psychologists in the country, are they volunteering right now to come and help them? Uh, no, Psychologically, fact, so they know, can be accepted thinking, back in the society. Do you know I was thinking about something? 214 girls already impregnated. There's every possibility that these maniacs, I mean, these strange human beings, I, I, because, I mean, Nigeria is not that, I mean, Nigerians are, don't behave that way. I don't know the kind of heart and the kind of spirit that goes into them. No, no, but the truth is that 214 that girls are pregnant, Truth is that there's every possibility you don't even know the paternity of some of these girls. And so, what is the government doing about this? Are, if, are they going to allow wives, these girls to if, keep if this if pregnancy? They're, if they're wives of the Boko Haram you know, insurgent, then they should be able to identify who their husbands are. Wow. Are they going to keep this pregnancy if they are part of the girls that we're looking for? We're think, not talking I about think, women here. I, we're I talking about that girls. That should be a decision for them. It's not something the government should make. For them, I think it's something which the government or Nigerians will have to respect. You ask the girls, do you want to keep this pregnancy? Do you want to keep the child, or you do not want to? All right, their, their will should be respected. Government should ask if this pregnancy is want to be kept, or otherwise. I, I, I wouldn't know, but I, I, I think I, I'm taking a position in my mind, and to be very sincere with you, I, I mean, it's not something I, that I really want to share, you know, to, to, <laughs> on a national television, as it were. We're going on a short break now, and then when we come back, we'll bring you more stories. We'll be right back.